come here and make some Swedish pancakes. You might wonder to yourself, self, what, how does one make Swedish pancakes? Some, something like, you know, I want to go to Stockholm Inn, but no, I'm too lazy. Oh yeah, you gotta give yourself 15 minutes of time. Probably worth the drive and uh, some money, but... Oh, well, you know, I'm trying to think of ideas that I've ran out. I'm procrastinating, so I can't think of anything. Okay, so Swedish pancakes have plenty of toppings and are very thin, making it different from a regular pancake. Today, I'll tell you how to make some Swedish pancakes easy and simple. So here are your materials. What you need, Swedish pancake mix, and something optional, which is the lingonberries, some butter, a griddle, egg, some milk, and a mixing bowl. So what do you want to do? Pour your mix into the mixing bowl. Oh man. And then stir the mix. Make sure you get rid of any clumps or anything. Crack that egg. Oh yeah. Frick. Oh yeah. That's a delicious egg there. And then you pour one half, one cup and half some milk. And then yeah, you stir it, man. Stir it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that delicious batter. Yeah, I want to eat that raw. That's delicious, man. So, yeah. While I'm stirring this, and I have to wait for a little bit. Wait till it's all clumpy. Till it's not clumpy anymore. When it's stirring, added some melted butter. Wait till the... You do not want to have it any clumps because no one really likes clumpy uh, pancakes. Just like we don't like any unnecessary work. So you just think those clumps as unnecessary work we are taught and whisk them away. Yeah, because everyone wants to be an engineer, right? Correct. Yeah, I want to be an engineer and an actor at the same time. And so... This is the part where I kill my entire family by a gas explosion. Turning on the stove, right? Yikes. There we go. So yeah, now I have to do, just turn that down to medium a bit. Get it with the spoon and transfer over you know it's really not a lot and uh, yeah I should get a little bit more of that pancake and it out I'm starting to notice some clumps so I should probably stir it a little bit more Thank you for that, cameraman. That is very useful, cameraman. You're welcome. Oh yeah, mix it hard. Mix that hard, man. Mix it hard. And... Yeah, you gotta wait for it for some browning. Obviously, it's gonna take a lot less time, but you still wanna wait for it to brown, so. While I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna have my next, my, my next pancake. Here we go. Next pan pancake number two. So 
some others. Pancake number three. It's an oddly shaped Swedish pancake. Don't think anyone would get that at Stockholm Inn. Whoever would make that would probably get fired. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look brown yet. So, well, actually, I stand corrected. Doesn't look too bad. Turn that to about medium heat. What? And. a mistake. Still have to wait for it to cook because you don't want to make the same mistake I did. Yeah. Get that pancake. Look at that. That's beautifully brown. That's what you want from a Swedish pancake. See that brown? That's, that's something you want. And then it's going to be really good. You see, if you were served this at Stockholm Inn, you wouldn't like it at all. And you would be an absolute uh, complaint. And you would complain to the manager or whatever. So what do you think happened? Uh, Probably just like the shape of it. Yeah. It made it, it a need, little weird. to cook a little bit before you flipped it. Yeah. I'm gonna just move it. Cook, cook, cook. Let that one brown a bit, bud. Yep. Five dollars that Ethan's laughing in the back right now. <laughs> Lovely. That is actually really good. This is actually perfect. Just tucking myself, getting myself prepared so I don't look all weird. I have pajamas on. That's how you make breakfast though, right? you make some Swedish pancakes and I hope you can make some Swedish pancakes at home thanks yeah <laughs>